Let me say, um, when last year in Ramadan, the President visited Cape Town, the Muslim Judicial Council approached the President and asked the President to do something about our struggle for our heritage in Buaka. And the, the President said, yes, he'll do something. And you know, time went on and time went on and we were still out on the streets and still demonstrating and we're thinking what has happened to, our, to the promise of the President. Eleven months later, on the doorstep of Ramadan, we have the minister here this morning. And you know, I feel, I'm, I'm very emotional about this, simply because I cannot if I have imagined that tonight we will stand here and say thank you once again to the minister. But I must also say that it, Minister Tuetra is not the only minister that's been here. He's been here last year. There's been a couple of ministers in the last three years. We had the Minister of Economics, Mr. Ibrahim Patel, the Minister of um, Tourism, um, Hanukkah. We had um, the Minister of Science and Technology, uh, Naledi Pando, and of course here we have um, the Minister of Arts and Culture again. But I think for us what is important is that a lot of things have been happening behind the scenes over the last year. Not only did the Minister do his work, but we also had SARA, which is a South African resource, Human Rights Human Resources Association. Um, who has been helping and assisting us in identifying um, heritage sites in Borka. So what we are saying, though Borka is becoming a heritage area, they have also identified specific heritage sites. For example, the Owa Masjid, the stables, and, and I think all the masjids, but some of the things, there are phases that we... So the president, uh, having been spoken to in May, um, last year, he then said uh, there is an issue in Boga. <coughs> president, what's the issue? That no, people in Boga have issues which need you. I said, uh, okay. President Tumamina. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, he, he tumat me uh, as, as I had asked. We, I want to take this opportunity to thank the local leadership here under the civic organization. From time immemorial, people's struggles have succeeded, not because of the support from outside, but primarily from the role they are playing so that whoever supports you sees that he or she is supporting a moving train. We can't just come and impose ourselves when there is no activity. There has been activity here. And thanks to you and thanks to the leadership you have in the show. So we can do it So we came here in November, uh, in fact in, de in December last year. We came, uh, it was on the Reconciliation Day, the day after. Uh, so you, you said, look, we, we've been saying that we want uh, places to be declared here heritage site. And we said, um, we will do that. We said that boldly, that we're going to go out and ensure that that is done. Uh, here with me, I have the chairperson who's been introduced by Fatwa of, of Sarah. And, and the CEO, but we also have almost the entire board here. Where, where are the members? Can, can the members of SARA stand?
These are the men and women. After meeting you in December last year, I went to them. They were minding their businesses. It was the 17th of December. People have been working the whole year. But I said to them, eh, guys, there's no resting time. I've committed you, all of you, in Boga. I said, it shall happen. And they were asking, what is it that you said it shall happen? I said, we shall declare all those areas they want heritage sites. And I said to them, look, uh, <coughs> uh, I, in, in less than five months, I want to go back to Boca and tell them that we have declared the place. How you get there, but get there. I'm going to Boca. And I will be in Boca before the elections. <laughs> I knew that too. So they ran around. Uh, the chair would call me and say, oh, Minister, uh, we are busy and uh, there is one obstacle and, and this. But, chair, I don't care obstacles or not. I want Boca to get. <laughs> iceberg of what we as a community, as Bukak is all about, our living heritage, our intangible heritage, that, that we cannot touch. We're more than just colorful houses. There's a people, there's a soul, there's a life force. And if you were to come here in a few weeks time during the month of Ramadan, you will see that at the time that we break fast, just a few minutes before that, Bukak turns into a ghost town. You might see a child running here and there quickly to get into the house because they have a plate of cake which you take your neighbor because you don't know what they have on their table and it's in the spirit of giving and sharing that you share with your neighbor to one another or whatever savories you might have made in the evening. And that's a tradition that is carrying on along with so many other traditions in the area. When you were here,